This is tutorial number 13, and it covers how to use the contact constraint within CATIA v5. To start off, let's open up a new part file, and once you've opened it up, let's go into the sketcher. So let's click Sketch and click Any Plane. So in this tutorial, we're going to be covering how to use this feature here, the contact constraint. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, draw a few objects and then add these contact constraints between them. So the first one I want to show is a square. So let's draw out a square. Doesn't have to be perfect. And let's draw a circle right below it. And we'll draw a circle there. And let's draw a circle on the side here too. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a contact constraint between the circle and an edge of the square. Now whenever you are going to do this, the contact is going to end up as being tangent. So the line is going to be tangent to the circle. So let's click contact and let's click the circle and this line here and we've created a contact. So if you zoom in you can tell that the circle and the line are tangent at that point. And we'll do it again on this side here. So we'll click contact, this circle and this line. Now from this you're also able to dimension them. So let's add a dimension. So we'll click constraint and let's make this circle bigger. Let's make it 100. And now it's bigger, but it's still maintaining that constraint. So it's still tangent to that point there. Now another one I'm going to show you is a contact constraint between two circles. So we'll draw a circle here. And we'll draw another circle right here. But this one's going to be larger. Now with a contact constraint between two circles, one circle is going to go right into the other circle. So let's go to contact constraint and we'll click both circles and now they're right on top of each other. So they both say, uh, share the same center point and you're still again able to dimension these. So let's bring this guy down to 60 and we'll make this one here 30. So it's just another way of bringing those two circles together. Now if both of these circles had other uh, parts bound to it, you're still able to carry over that whole part and design onto that circle. So I'll show you that if we make a contact between this circle here and this circle here, it's going to come over. If we do a contact between this circle here and this circle here, it's going to move it over. So with the contact with the circles, the circle is moving and you're also able to bring over all the associated parts along with it. Now I'm going to show you a contact between lines. So I'm going to draw a line here and we're going to make a contact with that line there. So I'll click contact and that line there and now they're in line with each other. Now we can also make another one, so we'll make a contact between this one and this one here too. And now the whole circle is going to come over, so it's in contact with that line there. So with the contact, you're able to draw your parts, draw features from them, and kind of snap everything together. And that concludes our tutorial on the contact constraint feature within CATIA v5.